guys so the magical day we've all been waiting for is finally here hobonichi has just released their full 2017 lineup preview so let's have a look at what they've got in store for us this year they're offering 79 different cover options so obviously i'm not going to be able to go through all of them in detail but i'll just highlight the ones that have stood out to me in particular for one reason or another in terms of the actual techos themselves the newsletters that Hobonichi has been releasing over the past couple of months have given some details about differences between last year's versions and this year's versions. The biggest one is that the cousin Avec version is now going to have a weekly layout just like the normal full year cousin, which I think is fantastic and I'm really excited about. Another difference is that there's going to be a kind of year in review couple of pages. I'm not sure exactly how many pages at the end of the book which I think is a nice addition as well. But they don't really show any of these changes on this preview website. So I won't really be looking at the books because the pictures that they show are the same as last year's. Like they don't show any of the differences. So I'll be focusing on the covers. Let's start with the A6s. So first up, we have the colors range, which is the basic nylon cover range. And this year, the only one that really stands out to me at all is this royal blue one. That's obviously because blue is one of my favorite colors and I really like royal blue in particular. So that was a kind of obvious one to want to have a look at. I think this is just a stunning color. I'm really, really drawn to this. The only thing that kind of takes away from it and sort of makes me not really want to buy it as like kind of definitely as I would otherwise is the inside. It has this kind of ivory white inside, which I don't hate, but many long years of experience have taught me that anything that's like white, ivory or cream colored in my possession is going to end up very grubby very quickly. And so that's kind of the main reason that I tend to avoid light colored materials. But aside from that, the sort of ivory and blue combination, I don't hate it, but it doesn't really speak to me. For the last couple of years, they've had a blue cover that's had either a green inside or a like kind of lighter blue inside. And I would just personally be drawn to that more. So because of the inside, I am not going to be putting this on my list because I think you really have to love it, you know, to to want to buy it. But I think that this is the nicest one. I mean, in my opinion, for my color preferences of the basic range for the A6s. Then the next one that really grabbed me is this Mother 2 Memories cover. So Mother 2 is, a, obviously it's a video game which Hobonichi has included for the past three years. I think this is the third year that they've had it in their lineup. They've had some kind of Mother 2 or Earthbound as it's known in uh, North America and presumably in Europe um, because the designer or one of the designers of Hobonichi uh, also um, designed the video game. So this is not a game that I had ever heard of before I got into Hobonichi's. I'd never played it. I, I didn't know anything about it. I did used to play video games, but in the 80s, and this came out in 1994. So it was, I guess, I guess a bit past my time. And so I never really looked at these too much in detail because I kind of felt like it would be a bit weird to have a cover that was based on a video game that meant nothing to me. Not that I think there's anything wrong with it. It just somehow, I don't know, it didn't, it didn't speak to me. But this year, I'm really, really drawn to this one. Some of it is because I just think that aesthetically, it looks great. It has a very nice mix of colors. It looks really bright and lively and happy. And then when you look at it in more detail, I like the yellow and purple combination. It's a really nice bright yellow and I like yellow and purple together. It just looks really happy. So even if I didn't know what it was based on, I would like the combination of designs. And then when you look at the scenes up close, they look really cool too. There's just like this really interesting range of things going on and like all of these little adventures. And I think it's really cute. And I've never had like a kind of bright, modern sort of design like this in a cover. All of my covers have been either just like block, you know, solid colors or some kind of pattern like, uh, you know, uh, um, just, just abstract shapes. So I really like this and I'm kind of considering it, although I'm not completely sure. James said that he would download the game and then we could play it. And then by the time these go on sale on September the 1st, I would officially be a Mother 2 fan. And then I would kind of feel like 
I was authorized to get one. Not that I think there's anything wrong with having one if you're not a fan of the game, but I don't know. That would It would make me feel like I had some kind of personal association with it beyond just liking the designs. So the next ones that were interesting to me are in this series that's called uh, Tricoté Knit Up. So I had a woven uh, Hobonichi cover from 2015 that was part of a range that they don't seem to be offering this year, but it's a similar kind of idea where it's woven fabric. And I, I really like the idea of that. I think that that's quite cool. And this one is particularly interesting because in the description it says that it's a simple one layer cover. Even the pockets and the pen holder are, are all part of the same cloth. Placing your planner into this cover will give you the satisfaction of seeing the secret inside pattern peek out. I think that's really cool. And then it also says the secret to this compact knit cover is behind the invisible thread. Knitted into the textile is a clear thread that melts when heated, making the size of the cover adjustable into the perfect size. So I don't exactly know what that really means, but it sounds cool. <laughs> and I just, I like the idea of it. And I also like a few elements of the design. I really like these tassels. I think that those look awesome. And I like how like the pen holder is kind of built into it like that. And then I really like the inside. I think that this is a great design for the pockets on the inside. It looks sort of like very homemade and, and old fashioned, which somehow appeals to me. The one thing that would stop me from getting this is the colors. I just, I'm not a fan of the yellow green color combination. I wish that they'd made this like, I don't know, blue and green or purple and yellow, <laughs> or even like blue and white would be fine with me, or blue and black, but the yellow and green just does not do it for me. And that's a real shame because I love the design. Now, the biggest shock and disappointment to me of this year's lineup is that they have got rid of the sack covers. I was really, really looking forward to the sack covers coming out because as some of you know, those are my favorite covers from Hobonichi. From last year, they kind of stood out by far. They're the silicone covers made of the same material that they make the tissue holder out of. And I don't know if they didn't sell well or if they've just decided to completely abolish the silicone material, but none of them are here. And that was really disappointing to me because I was looking forward to the new colors and I was like wondering if they'd made any changes to the layout. They only had them for two years. So I don't know if they're going to bring them back sometime in future or if they've just completely abolished them. Interestingly though, they do seem to have got rid of all of their silicone stuff because they're not offering the tissue holders anymore this year. Instead of the tissue holders, which you get as a like kind of free add-on when you get one of the Japanese planners, they are offering this, um, it's really odd. Well, not, not odd in a bad way, but they're offering the pen, which I'll show you at the end. Uh, and then they're offering this like kind of mini plate that looks like a piece of buttered toast. So I really wasn't expecting that. But anyway, the sacks are gone and uh, that's a real shame, I think. So onwards to the cousins. Now, the one that kind of grabbed me the most out of these, and I have to say, I'm not really a big fan of any of them, is the black and pistachio. The Caribbean blue obviously is interesting to me because it's blue, but it has this chocolate brown inside and I'm just not at all a fan of brown, unless it's like a faux leather type of brown. Uh, but it, as a fabric, it just, I would never pick brown. So the black and pistachio one, again, this is not my favorite. I, I don't think that I would buy this unless I had a real Hobonichi cover emergency. But for the cousin, that's not likely to happen because I have my faux leather purple Hobonichi cover, as you know, and I'm absolutely in love with that. So I would only get one of these if, you know, there was something that I just absolutely fell in love with. And this one is like, black is not my favorite color. It's, it's okay, but I like, you know, kind of usually brighter colors, but I think that the combination of the black and this like pistachio green is, it's, it's all right. It's just my favorite one of the, the basic colors range, but I'm not absolutely in love with it. I think it's quite striking. So then moving on, my next favorite one of the cousin range is this knit up range. Again, I really like this knit up line. For the cousin version, I actually like the pattern better. I like the colors a lot better. I think the like gray and dark blue and white, that's fine with me. I'm not absolutely crazy about stripes, but it's, it's okay. 
The yellow pen in this picture is kind of throwing me off because I keep thinking that the actual cover has yellow in it, but it doesn't. So what I really like about this one is, again, the inside. So that's what it looks on the outside. I think that looks all right, I, but it's more the sort of thing it's like, I don't mind it, I could live with it rather than I'm absolutely in love with it. What I really, really like is this inside. I think that this looks amazing. I wish that the outside looked like this. Somehow, I know I said I didn't really like the blue and white on the A6 colors cover, the royal blue one, but for this, I think that the blue and light white look really, really good together. And I love the pocket design and I love the zigzag pattern. I wish that they'd put the zigzag pattern on the outside because then I would absolutely buy it. I just really like that. So I think that looks excellent, but I would kind of, I would be looking at the inside and actually when, when you've got the techo in it, you can't see the inside for the most part. So you can see the pockets, but you know, you, uh, my favorite part, this, only kind of you can only see when it's empty so I think that's a shame because I just don't like this outside pattern as much but all in all I think it's an interesting choice then again with the sacks with, with, sorry with the cousins I was so disappointed that the sacks are gone because I really was considering getting one of those but what can you do and then we move on to the weeks and the weeks is also something that I was really excited about because I am going to be getting another weeks that like absolutely guaranteed so I was really curious to see what colors there would be. My weeks from this year is uh, bright blue. I think it's called sky blue or sky. And I really liked that color. I was so happy with it. And I felt very lucky that they had one of those. I knew that they wouldn't have the same colors obviously this year, but I thought that there might be something similar that, you know, something in my color range. I was actually hoping for like a kind of really bright, like a Kelly green. For no reason, I didn't have any reason to think that they would bring one of those out. I was just hoping for one. So I was kind of initially a bit like, hmm, except for this marine color, which is like a dark teal. I really, really like this one. So I was like, okay, great. My work is done. That's the one for me. So then when I had a closer look, I was actually quite horrified to discover that they have printed the 2017 in pink. And this really shocked me because last year, as far as I know, all of the covers had the 2016 printed in white or silver, that like, like at least all of the ones that I looked at in the basic color range, I think, the ones that I was interested in, that wasn't an issue. This year they seem to have printed each one in a different color. So like, for example, the red one has gray, the like kind of linen colored one has red and sorry that this is the red one that I meant that that has gray this one has white this navy one and so I actually briefly considered that because you know like okay it's a color that <laughs> that I I think goes with the cover but navy is it always feels very serious and official to me and I I wanted one that was a kind of a bit like lighter and brighter so I'm just really, really disappointed by this. This is just like such a bitter blow because I absolutely love this color and I would easily buy this, but the pink just, I can't get over it. I can't get past it. I have tried in the hours since I first saw this picture, I have been studying it and studying it, trying to get over it, but I just can't. One reason is that I'm not really a fan of pink at any time. And then another reason is that somehow to me, I know this is just my personal preference, but it just somehow doesn't, it doesn't, I, they, they jar they clash I don't I don't like how they look together I did think about painting over the 2017 like with tipex or you know like some kind of craft paint but knowing me I would make a mess of it and then that would bother me because you know it wouldn't look neat and even and it wouldn't cover up all of the pink and I would not be able to get over that either so sadly I've had to rule this one out because I know that it would bug me all year that the pink would just be like there staring at me mocking me and I wouldn't be able to stand it and that's such a shame because I really love this color and I just don't understand why they did that. Why couldn't they have just made it white? But I don't know, maybe other people will like it and then I'm very happy for them. But sadly, I won't be able to buy it because of that. So that kind of put me into a conundrum because as I said, none of the other ones really grabbed me. I was briefly considering this linen one, even though that wouldn't normally be my color, but it, like, it doesn't offend me. And so I was thinking of that, but then the red, like I just don't like the red, how it looks with the linen and uh, the night sky, as I said, is like kind of a bit too dark and it also doesn't really match the cover that I've got it in. So then an unexpected thing happened. 
So I was looking down at the rest of these, like none of these ones really grabbed me. And then I looked at this one, Daydream, which is part of that same series that I showed you before, the really, really super ultra kawaii, like wacky covers with all of the bright colors. And on the weeks, for some reason, it's a different pattern. It's the same like concept, but the actual design is a bit different. And this one is actually quite interesting to me. It's symmetrical and it, it's kind of a nice pattern. And somehow when you just look at it, the overall effect is just of a very happy, colorful, almost rainbow image. When you look closer at it, you see it has all of this, you know, like weird kawaii stuff in it. And as they describe it, they call it daydream. And they say daydream has a cover that almost seems like a girl's dreams all tightly compacted together. And that is kind of disturbing to me because like I'm just normally I'm not very girly. So that just like would put me off normally. But then they go on to say the busy print holds the power to suck you into its world as you study all it has to offer. And that is kind of true. It's like, it's, it's quite interesting. And then the year 2017 is imprinted on the cover in metallic blue. Yes, a color that I actually like. That makes me so happy. So if, if one of the other like solid colors had a metallic blue 2017, I would be so happy. I would be like totally down with that. And I would be buying one of those. Like if the linen one had it, uh, obviously it wouldn't show up on the marine one, but yeah, if the linen one had the metallic blue, I would be really happy with that, but it, it doesn't. So I'm kind of in this odd position because this is not normally the sort of thing I would go for, but because of not really having any other options, I feel like this might be the weeks that I end up getting, which just seems a bit weird to me, but I really like that. It's happy. I'm not sure if I would look too closely at the images because they're, they're kind of disturbing in their like intensive, you know, girliness. It's just like a little bit weird it kind of freaks me out <laughs> I don't know why but then the overall effect is quite happy so yeah that's sort of the situation very very unexpected I did not think that this would happen I was certain that there were that there would be one of the solid colors that would appeal to me it just never occurred to me that they would do this weird thing with the 2017 and if anybody likes what they've done with the 2017 then I don't mean to cause offense and like I said I, you know I, that's great but I just yeah, it's not for me. So that is the only weeks that I'm really seriously considering, except for the navy one, which would feel kind of disappointing because it just feels like a little bit bland. It's not as bright as what I would like. And the weeks really makes me happy. It's my personal planner. And, you know, I sort of look to it to kind of cheer me up. And I feel like navy would just be a bit like, you should be doing something more serious. I feel like that's what it would be saying to me. So, yeah, that is the situation with the covers, I was really hoping that they would like kind of elaborate on the sack range and that they would like bring out more sacks and they would bring out a sack cover for the weeks. But obviously that has not happened. So let me just show you this uh, peculiar uh, toast plate that they've got going on here. So this is what you get if you order one of the Japanese planners. You get this blue pen, which I love. I think that this is the best color of pen that they've had so far, definitely. I really, really like this color. And yeah, instead of a tissue holder made out of silicone, you get this mini toast plate, a mini butter toast plate. <laughs> so I'm not really sure what to make of this. I don't know what I would do with this. Uh, but to be fair, I think a lot of us didn't really know what to do with the uh, tissue holders. So it's really, you know, a similar situation. Um, and so there you have it. That is the 2017 Hobonichi lineup. I'm going to be looking at this again and again and again over like the coming week and a half, trying to make my final decision, especially because I have a feeling that the daydream design for the weeks is probably be going to going to be sold out quite quickly. And I think that that's the one that I'm leaning towards. But it's an odd situation. I really wasn't expecting this to happen. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm curious to, to know what you think about the new lineup and which ones are your particular favorites. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again soon. Bye.